hey what's going on you guys welcome to another video and today man we're gonna head back into the gender war i now realize that this war will never be over so today man a video is currently going to viral of a content creator um i went to her tiktok page real quick and it seems to me that she posts like travel vlogs um she's one of them people you know that travel all, all over the globe you know what i'm saying talk about it, the experience, what, you know, they eat, stuff like that. And uh, she just happened to post a TikTok of her dating life. And I'll say this, man. Um, if you're somebody that's out here posting your life on social media, be ready for um, people's opinion because social media has no chill. People are going to clown. People do not want to know the context to anything. Whatever's in front of them, this is what they're going to respond to so she posted this tiktok right here this is her page on tiktok it says one thing about me i'm always gonna have a cute one also quote dated but i was never in a relationship with any of them lol i'm so fickle um i may like you today and i like you tomorrow so this is her in barcelona spain the caption is the caption says of the men that i've dated while living in spain now i don't know if she's messing around with these dudes or she's just you know meet them on dead ass or whatever and immediately people were drawing comparison to the passport bros who currently are not really um <laughs> having a uh good look right now because there's plenty of videos of the passport bros out here fighting uh street walkers you know what i'm saying they go out and um take these take these women back to the hotel room and I'm probably not paying them enough. It's a mess, right? So let me stop bobbling. This is the video. Take a look. All right, so as you can see, nothing crazy. Um, if you go to TikTok, Instagram, you probably find thousands of these videos. And I think the video went viral because it's a black woman um, having a good time. And I can understand if she was in a video, you know what I'm saying, talking about, oh, this is why I prefer, you know, European man versus black man because yada, yada, yada. Ooh, we know the rhetoric. She did not say anything about black men. It was just her um, living, you know, having a good time. Then again, like I said, I don't know if she's messing around with these dudes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is her life. She decided to post the video. Now, somebody shared the video, right? The video is currently going viral. If you go to War Star, um, X is going viral. This is somebody, I think, that shared it first. Don't quote me on that. And as you can see, the video is sitting on uh, 13.4 million views. And uh, people had, like, all type of different... Um, opinions so somebody here says there is so many people uh makes no sense to me like what do you gain from being with all uh, those people don't y'all ever want to take a moment and realize that maybe you're the problem in relationship failure now as you, like i said people should be people social media do not need no context or anything from what i see in the video this is just her um having a fun time in uh, barcelona i think she's i think she's black american Right, I can tell by her accent, she's black American. So she's probably out there by herself, don't really have any family member or friends. So she's just, you know what I'm saying, having a fun time. This guy out here always talking about, <laughs> why don't you realize you're the problem in a relationship? She said she's not in a relationship with any of these guys. She's just dating. 
Okay, they didn't mean going to the movies, going to the park, as she's shown in the video. But I don't know, man. I think some people were in their feelings because she's a black woman. This is what I'm getting from the video. Like I said, this is the first time I've seen these type of videos. Some people have actually done worse. Somebody said, this is what I'm talking about. Single and rich mingle. It's not just about what happens in bed. It's about learning something new, trying new food, making different uh, special memories, trying new things, learning languages. It's about the growth. Yeah, I think this is, this is what her message um, in the video was. She wasn't like, actually, I see videos of women, right? Coming out here. I think I did the video a while back when I first started my YouTube channel. It was a girl talking about how to get free lunch, where she would go to these um, restaurants, basically sit there. She would order the food, and when the bill would show up, she would just um, look around, find rich-looking men, and ask them to pay for her food. Some people, some people would actually post these videos on how to get free food on dates. So to me, this is innocent. I don't think it, it's that bad, but for some reason, man. So somebody else uh, said straight to the point, and somebody else responds straight to the... Yeah, you see the raccoon. They're calling her... Um, already calling her a sellout, Right? Like I said, I went to her page. She doesn't post any pro-black um, content. It's just her traveling. That's it. But people already call her a sellout for dating uh, uh, men from Spain, foreign men. Oh, why? Somebody actually, somebody I saw somebody say on her page, "Why isn't there no black men in Spain?" See, somebody says, "So no black men in Spain." Like it's none of your business. So the video went viral. The comments were so bad that she had to go to her page to respond to the comments. I wasn't going to address this, but people are coming from Twitter. People are coming from Instagram because the dating video is going viral again on Twitter and Instagram. I don't know why the person even bought it to Twitter because Twitter just breathes negativity. But here we are. And it's the only time I'm going to address this because I really don't care. And this is going to be the last thing I say about it on any platform. But I wanted to speak on, speak on it on here because this is what the video is at. So the video made its rounds on Instagram and Twitter, and it had a whole bunch of negative comments that I've already addressed on here. So I'm not <laughs> readdressing nothing. Nor am I here to change anybody's mind about what they think about me. I'm not here to explain myself to nobody. I'm not here to say nothing straight. Whatever you think about me, think it. However you feel about me, feel it. Whatever narrative that you've come up with about somebody you don't know, I want you to stick, stick with it. Because you have to understand a person like me. I am mentally and spiritually strong and equipped. Words and opinions cannot break me. They don't do anything to me. They don't do anything for me. They don't move me. Like, I can literally care less. I know who I am. I know what I do. I know what I don't do. So there's nobody else, especially people that don't know me, that can tell me who I am, that can tell me what I do, that can tell me how I live my life. I'm not about to fight with you about me. I'm not about to fight a stranger about me and who I am. I know me. So for me, in a way, I think it's just kind of insane for me to argue with people on the internet and be like, no, don't think this about me. Don't say that about me. Have it. Have it. Do it. Say it. Because I understand people like that aren't ha happy with themselves. They aren't happy with their lives. Because a person that is truly happy, a person that really knows love, they're not going to be on the internet um, being negative, bringing negativity, spreading negativity. When you're truly happy and happy with yourself, you put your energy into other things and not trying to be hateful or bring other people down. And really, the whole thing got blown out of proportion by men and majority black men. And I think that's really sad. And I want black men to heal. I want black men to find whatever kind of acceptance or love that they need and that they are seeking. It's always black women don't want us. Look how black women do us. Um, black women is black women. That, but look how y'all treat y'all black women. And moreover, I'm not about to let nobody make me feel bad about doing something normal like dating. Y'all, y'all don't get women, y'all, some of y'all don't get men, so y'all don't, y'all don't understand, y'all can't really, and y'all don't live out of the country, or have not lived out of the country, so y'all can't really speak on experiences that y'all never had or get to have. But anyway, that's really all I have to say about it. If you come on my page with the dumb shit, I'm just gonna block you, I'm not responding to it, I'm not fighting back, I have not responded to anything that I've seen, um, because again, I don't care. And you can't tell me about me. I'm not about to fight you about me. Um, 
I wish everybody healing. I wish everybody better thinking, better living. Because for me, all of this is very ignorant and very small-minded. So um, I just want everybody to be better and to do better. I love everybody that love me. I love everybody that don't. Okay, so you just heard um, her response. And yes, she's right. This whole thing was blown out of proportion. And I think it's because she was a black woman. She was out there going on dates, having a good time. The men that she posted seemed to like her. They seemed to like her personality. They seemed to like to hang out with her. And I think some of y'all were jealous. I think some of y'all were jealous that she was having a good time. I think some of y'all were jealous that she was showing these men, these foreign men attention that y'all don't get at home. And y'all need help. She's right. Y'all need help. Stop going on social media. Uh, getting your f It's weird. It's starting to get really weird. Y'all be going on these social media, um, getting your feelings about complete strangers that don't even know you exist. Like, this is this is unreal. And that goes for both black men and black women and whoever else. On one hand, when you have these passport bros posting um, videos of them going to Spain or whatever, not Spain, but Colombia, wherever they go to find these women, right? You have black women come in the comments. Oh, it's because uh, uh, blah, blah, yada, 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 you go in there because the women are, are poor. None of your business. It, 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 it's not your business what these men choose to do. Now I get it, right? When they be saying I'm going over there because black women this, black women that, I get it. But if these men just posting their stuff, going to uh, uh, um, Colombia, going to uh, Dominican Republics, let them go. It's the same go for these girl. Like I said, she don't, she's not even saying anything about black men. She just it's just her in Spain having a good time. Some people don't like it when black women have a good time with other groups of men. This is what I've noticed. It goes both ways. I know some people are going to point out, well, when black men, yes, it goes both ways. We have a group of black people that do not like it where they see either black men or black women having a good time with other groups of people. Okay, y'all need to go to therapy to figure that out. It's not that serious. Especially when she she, not, she did not even mention black men. Okay, if, even if she was going around sleeping with all these men, that's her business. Okay, if she's having a good time, she's having a good time. Is she happened to catch something? That's for her to deal with. This is not none of your business. Of course, it's a free country. People can comment whatever they want. Just like she said, she said she's in the comments. She's not gonna respond. She's gonna black y'all. And for y'all to make this girl go viral just for posting a video of her going on dates, the double the the double standard is real. Cause I've seen these passport bros posting pictures of. It's barely legal street walkers, right? And the men were in the comments, oh man, he's living the life. You know what I'm saying? I wish I was there. Where is this? He's lit, right? And of course, you got the women in the comments uh, <laughs> saying, oh my God, he's taking the videos of these girls. Well, maybe I've been on social media for too long, man. When you see, <laughs> you see one of those videos, you see them all. It's, it's the same thing. Just get help, man. It is not that serious. Leave that girl alone. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. If you made it to the end, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next one.